Hello and welcome. I am Raghav, and today we are going to learn how to create free SQL database, and we will also see how we can connect it using our Windows desktop client. Now, during testing, a lot of times we need some demo database, some free database that we can use for our testing. So today we have. Uh, we are going to see this and we have two options. We can go online and create a free MySQL DB, or we can also create a free MySQL DB on Amazon Web Services, that is AWS. Now in this video, I will focus on the first option that is online free MySQL DB. And in the second video, I will show you how to create it on AWS. So here I will go to uh, freesqldatabase.com, go to this website, freesqldatabase.com and here we will have option so let me just go here here you can see we have this free mysql database here we will have a single database we can create one database and the database space will be starting from 5 mb and uh, then we also have some paid options but we will just need the free database for our testing. So you can go and click on login here. And for the first time, you will have to click on register. So go and click on register and you can give your email ID here and click on register. You will get a link uh, on your email from where you can set your password. Now, in my case, I have already registered. So I will go to login and I have used this email. So I'll just copy this and log into my account. and i will say login and here after you log in for the first time you will see this option complete my registration and you will have to select your country or location here and say complete my registration and you can see here we have this option we got our account we have one database available and as of now, we do not have any database. So click on start new database and it will create a database for you. So here, okay, I will have to select a server location. So I will say I want it Asia Pacific and then I will click on start new database. So you can see here, the database is created. This is the database host name. This is the database uh, name, the username, the password you will get in your email. And you can see it is saying, please wait. It can take a few minutes and then you will get uh, details on your email with the password and all the other details. So wait for a few minutes and then you will get all these details. So let me just, uh go and check and yes i have got this email uh so this i have already done let me wait for the other email where i will get the details about my database and yes you can see here i have got all the details my database is now up and i have got all these details uh let me copy this in my notes so I have got these details here. This is the host database name, data, database users, database password and port. And uh, sometimes if you have to connect it through some programming or scripting, this is the connection URL that you can use. So here, this is my database host and this is the port and this is the uh, database name is this here. So this you can use when you are trying to connect it through some external tool or in, in a program, you can use this. So we have got our database. Now let us see how to create the tables. So you can see here, we have got a link to go to PHP my admin. You can go here and this will take you to PHP my admin. And again, you will have to connect it using your server username and password. So this is my server or the host. So give this in the server field, then the username. This is the username. And then the password. This is my password. And I will say go. 
and this will open PHP my admin. Okay, so we have got our database. This is our database here. And you can go here. Now here, I can create a table. I can give some name, let us say employee. And this is the number of columns. Let's say I want three columns and I will click on go. Now here, I will give the column name. Let us say I want first name here, which should be of type where care and length, let us say 20. Then I want a last name here, uh, again of type where care and length 20. And uh, I will take age of type int and uh, length three. And then I will click on save. And let's just wait for this process to complete. And yes, uh, we have got this employee table. And now I will go to, uh, you can see all these columns are here. I will go to insert to add some values. Uh, it can take some time. This is a free database, a public database. So it can take some time. It can be a little slow. So that should be okay. Uh, here, I will give the values. So let us say the first name, I will say Isaac uh, Newton and age, I will say 41. Then again, I will add one more here. I will say Henry and Ford and I will say age 40. And I will say uh, go here. So it will save these values. So here you can see, uh, this is inserted. It says two rows inserted. Now, if I go to the employee table here, it should show me all the data. And you can see these two rows are now added. Now, if you have to connect to this table from outside, uh, you can use any client. Let's say if you are on Windows, on my Windows, I have got this ID SQL and you can also see it here. If you just search for ID SQL, you can get it from here. So you can go to the downloads and get it from here or you can get any, any client like Workbench or any client that you can use to connect to the database. So I will open this and I will click on new and I will say free SQL DB. You can give any name here and I will have to give the details here. So in the drop down, we have Maria or MySQL. This is what I will select. Uh, library, I will keep with the default. Now I need to give the host, the user and the password and the port. So the host should be, uh, this is my host. I will copy this and add it here. Then we have to give username and password. So this is my user. I will give it here and the password is this. So make sure you uh, store your username, password and all the connection details. Port is 3306, which is fine. So this is the port number. And then I will click on open. So let's see if it is able to connect to the database. And yes, I will click on yes. And you can see it is connected to the database. Uh, this is our database and it should also show us the tables. We have the employee table here. And here you can see all the details are here. If I go to check the data, you can see we have got our data here. So this is how we can create a free SQL database and connect to it. Now in the next session, I will show you how to create a free MySQL database on AWS. I hope this was useful for you. Thank you for watching.